Shadrach! It's match day, it can only mean one thing. Birmingham versus Sunderland. I use probably didn't at one E, but the like target on this video is 200 likes. So smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. So then it's the first time Sunderland come up against the old manager in Tony Mowbray. He'd definitely get a warm reception from the Sunderland supporters, no doubt about that. Sunderland in previous games have had some decent look against Birmingham. They've done the double of them last season. We we'll beat them at the stadium alike in a 3-1 convincing performance. But a lot's changed since then. We've got a new head coach in Michael Bale. Form isn't the best at the minute. Um, I'd happily take a 1-1 draw right about now. So the two clubs have got things in common. Speakman, Dodds, Alex Pritchard, Dion Sanderson, just to name a few. Obviously, Job as well. I wonder if he'll get a decent reception of the home supporters. He should do. But let's get off down at St Andrews. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I'll eat that man. Right, so the lineup is out. Burstow comes in as well as Mundell. I don't know what he sees in Burstow personally. I hope he proves us wrong and we do get the win. It's going to be a sellout here. First time they've sent out here in five years. Looking forward to the atmosphere. How are the lads? Game is a nut him in that, isn't he? Again. 
Right then, I've just had five minutes to calm down. It's finished. Birmingham 2, Sunderland 1. Now, Tony Mowbray has came back and haunted us, basically. Um, I'll get on to Bale in Trey Hume. Well, I've just found out in a minute. The game, though, we were the better team in the first half. I don't think any Birmingham supporter would argue that. Uh, they couldn't get anywhere near us. And it took Jack Clark to break the deadlock. And without Jack Clark and his goals, we will be a drift nigger down the bottom. We're struggling. The season's over. When I seen the lineup, when I seen that first store was starting, my head dropped, my confidence went. I, I, I didn't think it's working for him at Sunderland. Rusin, Egan Shaw. Rusin shows what a strike is all about. He makes the runs. He's more energetic. He gets around the pitch. He gets into people's faces. And I, I was scratching my head how Bale thought it was necessary to drop Rusin and bring in Burstow. Rusin was one of the better players against Huddersfield and he drops him. Now, the thing I got made aware of after the game when I looked on X was Trey Hume, one of our best players, remember? One of our best players up there. He had a decent game, he did. I know he had a yellow card, but he was making some good tackles. He got substituted. Hermia came on and I thought, right, well, that was just a... You know, in case he got himself sent off. When he got walking off to shake Bale's hand, Bale knew he, he was coming near him. Knew he Because he made the substitute, he knew he was on his way out. Totally blanked him. Now, Rangers supporters warned us of how arrogant this man can be. And in front of all them supporters in that stadium, and the Sunderland supporters, it was basically a middle finger to him. Now, that's a sack of an offence in itself. All of us Sunderland us supporters didn't want him here. We, we never, ever wanted him. Speakman thought he was the best thing since sp sliced bread after two days. Two days, bearing in mind. And we are dropping away and away and away. And if we didn't get rid of him and get, re get a replacement in, we're just going to continue dropping away. In my opinion, we've got to get into this. Get a free in. Get experience through the door. Because it just comes to show, without experience, things like that happen in the game. Decent first off, second off, we just didn't know what to do. Our heads went. There was no more. There was no direct football. Very little chances. Bearing in mind, probably I'd give it the, the last five minutes. We did try and push for the equaliser. Got a few corners. Patterson went up. We did score, but it, it was well offside. And, and you know, it was just an absolute implosion in the second off. The the, the first game in midweek against Huddersfield was diabolical. Absolute diabolical. And now, to follow it up after that, 
I'm sick. I want bail out. I want a replacement in. Let us know in the comment section below what you think. What did you make of the game? What did you make of Tri Hume getting absolutely blanked? Season a bit of everyone.